morning y'all and then welcome back to my channel guys it's your girl coco styles and on this channel we talk about beauty fashion lifestyle and styling so today we're gonna have a little nightcap i'm gonna be doing a quick little i guess spatial <laughs> i wanted to just really use my new Steamer by Dennis Gross, Dr. Dennis Gross. You guys seen this in the last haul. Uh, so I am going to use it today and just kind of clean my face. And I'm going to use my mask as well. I showed you guys this the other day. It's so bright in my bathroom. So I wanted to try out and use my steamer today. And my new uh it's not well it is new but i tried it before i told you guys this is the um keels rare earth deep pore cleansing mask love it love it love it so i'm just gonna get started i don't have anything on my face but i am still going to pre-cleanse just to get anything that may just be sitting on my face if you do not have a pre-cleanse girls get you a pre-cleanse this is the one by dermalogica I want to say it's like $45 possibly, um, but absolutely love it. I have a towelette. You guys already know I love my uh, clean skin towels. Let's show you guys close this up. You guys already know I love my towelettes. It's so like raggedy in here, like the, the lighting, but I got like, I'm just gonna wet my face just a smidget. Actually, yeah, I have a little, just here, just to damp it across my face. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on. But I wanted to talk about everything that's going on. So this is a little chit chat with me while I do my face shoe. So this is like a, a unwind with me, if you will. So if you guys, are not living under a rock. <laughs> you guys have seen TikTok and the Risa Tisa story. <laughs> God. Let me tell you guys. When you are dealing with anybody, and this is for a man dealing with a woman, a woman dealing with a man, girl on girl, man on man, whatever. If you're dealing with someone who has any narcissistic traits, any personality disorders, anything, run for the hills, okay? Because it's like, it's really hard to deal with them. And her story was very, uh-oh. All right, guys. <laughs> her story was very, very sad. Uh, she did say that she was desperate and you know people were like in the comments making her you know just saying things that are just not nice and i feel like if a person can come out and kind of say exactly what they were feeling at the time not really caring about what others are thinking then why say something like just leave it alone right so i'm just gonna kind of get all in here to see what's Get on the hair. So right now in my hair, I have aloe vera, aloe plant, the actual plant, and this garlic treatment that I usually pre-pull my hair with. Uh, I got that from these Dominicans in New York. This garlic treatment is bomb diggity. Hold on. Well, anyway, so it's kind of like you hear in her story, and at first I did not know what to expect from it. But I know for sure I wasn't expecting that. So for me, I think that she was very brave to come out with that story, risking people judging her and stuff and just a lot of stuff. And I don't know if women and men really, really have really good discernment if they know a sign when they see one. Because let me tell you something. <clears throat> And anybody can say, oh, I would never do that if I was in that situation. Blah, 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 blah. I don't believe it. 
Well, let me not say that. It's not that I don't believe it. I just feel like you don't know until you're in a situation. Her tire blowing out was a telltale sign for a lot of people. For others, it was not a telltale sign. You understand? So that was one thing. He appeared to be, you know, decent because he came, helped her with her tire and stuff like that. And then I believe COVID happened. They were like quarantined. And I think for quarantine, most people who were in relationships ended up not staying together, just crazy. And then people who were afraid to kind of like be lonely ended up in relationships or dealing with somebody that they really didn't want to deal with. So as I'm listening to her story, just the stuff about the money and stuff, that was just like, I, I you know, I pray that she really does heal from this because I am 100% sure that that was very, very draining for her. Like, and I don't even think it was over a year, but love bombing is so real. And if you are a girl who met a guy recently, and you feel that things are moving kind of fast, you might want to pump your brakes, okay? So he pretty much love bombed her, got up in her home, I don't know if he actually, she said he had his own place. I'm like, did he really have his own place? Or was he like hop, hopping from house to house and really needed, you know, some somewhere to stay? Let me wash my face, guys. Oh, so, I'm actually just gonna do this now. I just wanna just do that pre-clean, but I am gonna put my steamer on just for a little bit before I get the second cleanse in. Um, but it was kind of like, you know, he moved in during COVID. <laughs> this one is a lot easier to take out than the other one that I had. Let me just pour some of my, um, what do you call this? Spring water that I brought downstairs. I mean, brought upstairs. So pretty much, he kind of weaseled his little way in. All right. So, I'm just gonna take it and we're going to water everybody in there. Okay. I'm just gonna turn it on. While it's on, I'm gonna be talking. So, <laughs> yeah, he moves in and it was, you know, for her, she felt good. He was paying bills and he had to have had a real job because he was paying bills. Now she did say the bills weren't a lot of money, but this thing heats up really, really, really fast. If you, it heats up really fast. Like I already hear it and the smoke is coming. Yeah, yep, let me just set it down here. <laughs> Y'all, let me tell you, it, it was just like crazy how many things she let slide. And it's not her fault. Trust me, it's not. Right? Let me just do this. She, she let, like I said, she let a lot of stuff slide. And I mean, I, I, I don't wanna say I get it, but I have met women who really, really, I'm just gonna turn it off just a little bit, just to loosen it up a little bit. I've met women, and slide that over, who really, really, really wanted to, um, settle down you know and they really don't like pay attention to the signs man now I think I've dated a narcissist before I'm sure he was he just had like mm. 
temper, I don't know, temper, temper tantrums, like a child. I've never in my life seen anything like that before. Like literally like a kid. And <laughs> what one thing they will do is like I said, they will love bomb you. Um, I don't know what it is. I kind of feel sorry for them because I know it's like some sort of imbalance or something. But honey, when I tell you, ooh, I was so glad when I finally was able to like, it took me about two weeks. <laughs> I think a good two weeks. I want to say a little less, but I'm going to say two weeks. Um, but oof, draining. I think he had mommy issues. Um, just a lot. I just think he was a liar. Well, I know he was a liar, <laughs> but it's the same thing with her. And you start to second guess some of the things that you know they said. Child, the girl said she didn't even know who she was after a while. And I'm sure, I'm sure, okay? Let me wash my face. But it was a 50 part series. I didn't think I could do it, but I did it. I did it. And I think if you haven't watched it, what I would say about it is that it's not for everyone to listen to. However, I do feel like there's certain things that will be something that will help anybody. I don't care if you are super, have super discernment. I, I just feel like just it's a good story to hear. And also, you never know what part of her story will resonate with you. Something as simple as him wanting to buy all these houses. Like, he wasn't serious. He had no money, y'all. And then come to find out, this is gossip. But <laughs> I think the bank statement that he was showing, someone found a copy of it on Google. Like, what? That is some serious level of delusion and like sick a bit, right? Now he's all up and through social media. I have not watched his videos. I'm seeing it through other people's pages. I would not give him that. But she did end up getting a trip to Paris. Um, it's one of the girls, I don't know her name. She said she'll pay for her flight there and back, which I thought was really, really good. Um, nice of her. And kind of like, just kind of get the things that she wanted to get with him. She was pregnant, lost the baby. That was another sign. Let me wash my face, y'all. Sign after sign. I have my new um skin situation. I have this. So I had it in the freezer. Because I don't have a um all this stuff I got in my bathroom. I don't have <laughs> a refrigerator for my stuff. Um so I think you're supposed to roll it on. Let me see. How to use. Use store power board and freezer for hours before you remove and ice the inflammation. I don't know if you put something on your skin. Cause they don't have no, uh, I'm just gonna rub it on before. Comes with a little card and just a little card. Black on. Nothing really on here. So I'm just gonna actually take it and rub it across my face because it really doesn't say much. Oh, just use on dry, clean skin, which my skin is clean and it's dry. I'm looking down because I have a mirror down here. So I had it in the fridge already, so it's cold. And I'm just gonna kind of go from here and and rip it in my face. Oh. Oh, this reminds me so much of my um of my oh this is cold, y'all. <laughs> oh I don't know if I could oh this is too cold. <laughs>
It doesn't tell you which way to do it. I'm gonna go under my eye. This sucker is cold. <laughs> and I'm trying to think when she did. Mm. Let me say how long it stayed for. Oh, whatever. <laughs> so, yeah, like, for me, it's just, it's, I'm glad she came out with it. Because, shoot, she came out, and then I think his ex wife came out. I think uh, somebody's son came out, the ex-wife's son, I believe. And that was crazy. This is cold. It's like a nice little easy grip. I'm gonna go around here. It might be only two minutes. I'm gonna leave it like that. And then you just, when you clean it off, they say you rinse it off with water and put it right back in the fridge for the next few. So let's slide that over there. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna do my, my mask. I don't even know if you guys can see that. Can you guys see that? Yeah. And for this, let me see if my face needs to be a little damp because it's so thick. I'm just gonna do that. But I don't know, to me, it's just like very, um, very, just a lot. Like this, this the whole story was a lot. I'm just gonna grab like a scoop out of here with my little situation. <laughs> all right let's leave that like this let's get all this off here i might have to get another oh no i don't because i have a little rag here i'm gonna let it sit for a while and then i'm gonna put my steamer back on actually and then take it off but the bottom line is oh boy was having like a time of his, his life uh fabricating these stories and um for me it's just like how, how hmm, what's the word i want to use <sighs> how messed up in the head that you have to be how messed up in the head you have to be to do something like this to somebody now I, I do feel like, like I said, that there is something wrong with people who are like this. Like he is a child, I almost feel like he's like a sociopath, narcissist. I, I, I mean, that's a bit extreme, but probably. But anyway, what do you guys think about the story? Have you guys listened to it? Like, have you guys just like, you're gonna pass on it? It is 50 videos, but I do feel like it's something that everybody should listen to. Men and women are watching, listening, taking key things. And I cracked the joke the other day. I said, listen, every person who's out here lying to people, men and women, they're probably with somebody right now and saying to themselves, abort a mission. Saying to themselves, abort mission. Because the person is probably now on alert with every single thing. Lying is so dangerous. I feel like people who lie will lie about anything. I don't care if it's your boss. I don't care if it's a relative. Liars are dangerous people, period. They will lie and get themselves out of a situation, okay? So, steamer back on, and I'm just going to let this loosen up just a bit. So, I should have some water still left in there. Yeah. Let's see, should be a little bit. This thing heats up so fast. Or oh, steams up. Heats up, steams up? 
Let's see, let's just, I just want to loosen it up just a little bit. I love it because you have this. Just pull it to the side and that's it. All right, so I'm gonna rinse it off and come back. Put some of my um, Bren toner. I like this one, I got a huge one. That's a run, let that dry a bit. And then I use my trusty Neutrogena. So I got this, this is my normal one, but I got the other one by accident. Do not like it at all. And then I'm just gonna put on some of my, this is a quick video. So yeah, so if you haven't watched her 50 videos, definitely give it a watch. So that's my vitamin C and then my lovely skin fix. Really a little tiny bit. And that is it guys but yeah if you haven't watched her series definitely give it a watch I'm all over this video because I'm just like it the story is just so crazy now he's coming out but be aware be aware ladies and gentlemen because let me tell you there's women like that as well like pathological lies and I don't know what that is she said that his family was saying that he's been lying since he was a kid. And it's like, what is that? I do feel like all, all kids be like, they lie about little stuff, right? Little stuff kids lie about. But when it becomes extreme, the parents should really step in at what one point, right? Because you, you're you going to see when a kid lies. I used to go to school with somebody in the sixth grade. This person lied, 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 and I just couldn't understand it. So in my head as a sixth grader, I said to myself, this person has to be the same way at home. But they lied about every single thing, and it's just like, they lied about test scores, they lied about <laughs> just like things that you wouldn't even think of to lie about. But those are special people and I feel sorry for them because I don't think they can control it. Pathological liars, okay? <laughs> just just lying out here in these streets, lying. It's really sad though, but she did get a trip to Paris. Someone purchased her, her ticket. They did like a GoFundMe. Nah, I guess it was not a GoFundMe. Was it a GoFundMe? She had a cash app because people was asking her for a cash app. One thing I will say about the world like even though with all the craziness going on people really felt like she deserved the trip 
you know so they just kind of chipped in for i think i believe it was her hotel and stuff um and probably just extra money to spend just for her telling her story and taking the time to do 50 freaking tiktok videos and in the middle of her birthday but i definitely think it was worth listening to and if you didn't take anything away from it I'm sure everybody did. Even if the girlies who never get caught up in stuff like that, it's just very interesting to hear how so many red flags, she let them pass and she said it. She said she was desperate. She came out, she said what she said and I could appreciate her honesty. She was she took accountability, accountability that was perfect. And now she's she's here. She got like a million subscribers now, followers now, which is great. I want her to put her story on YouTube because at least people could actually sit and just watch it one good time, a good old hour. But watching it on TikTok is like 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. It's gonna feel like it's taking forever. Um, so I wish her luck and I do feel like she'll be fine. But let me know what you guys think about this face shoe. My skin is looking moist. I told you guys before, if you do not have a good combination of a vitamin C and a good moisturizer, child, I don't know what you're doing to your skincare routine. But that's it. Just a very, very quick, quick video. Me getting ready for bed. I'm about to wash my hair. I do have on a, what you call this? Plastic cap under here with the aloe and the garlic treatment wash my hair twist it up and i'm going to bed guys so this is just a quick video using my new steamer of course and um just a quick little face shoot for the night and actually using my new cryo ball i just stick it back in there but i gotta rinse it off so cryo ball is by skin by brown lee she is black owned so if you do not sometimes this is like don't don't zoom in this is my other lens but yeah that's it guys so again let me show you guys everything that i use today dermalogica then i use my trusty trusty neutrogena you guys already know i swear by this all the time i used neutrogena hyaluronic acid water gel what is it called water gel yeah water gel I used the Kiehl's Deep Pores Cleanser. I also used my Ren Toner. And I also used my Image MD. Yeah. What else? Oh, and of course, my trusty thing. But that's it for this video. If you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco, we see you. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY. And my personal style blog, Coco Styles NYC, and my style services, Coco Styles NY.com. And I'm on Tickety Tickety Talk, Coco Styles NYC. And guys, listen, I have been low key on social media lately, just trying to get things together. But I appreciate if you guys like the video and comment. And thank you guys for tuning into the video. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.